Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a bit of an impromptu video because I just remembered that I wanted to film this like a week and a half ago but um we're here now and we're doing it now and it's gonna be very short but I'm kind of on that grind at the moment even though at this point I haven't actually posted any but all of the videos I have ready to post are pretty short. By the by, I need to talk to you about a book I finished reading and if you don't care about books then off frankly no i'm kidding that that was harsh i'm sorry i'm sorry about that about a week or so ago i finished a book that actually filled me with rage i have never felt so angry at every single character in a book whilst reading a book i'm gonna get it handily placed myself in front of my bookshelves so i could show you this i may have flipped the video so you may not be able to read it but it says the cows and it's by dorno porter you may remember that when i won my big prize a couple of videos ago this was one of the books i spent that money on and it's the first book of those big stack that i've actually violently hated and i'm going to tell you why and i'm going to warn you off why you should never read this book i've read one other book by dorno porter called so lucky i read it about a year ago and it wasn't that bad it wasn't anything to write home about it's probably what i would call airport literature but it was fine i didn't have any great irks with it however i finished this one and i read it in three days and you may think what well, abby if you read it in three days that surely means that you enjoyed it no you'd be wrong i read it in three days because i wanted the pain to be over quickly 430 pages which isn't very much but i devoured it in three days because i could not be doing with reading it anymore and the only reason why it's still in my room is because i was keeping it in here to film a video and then the second i finished this it's going in the charity pile and i'm never seeing it again you may be asking why was it so terrible this book is focused around three women all adults all like in their late 30s or early 40s so um old enough to know better that they were pulling in this book frankly and i'm 18 i'm an adult technically i don't feel like it but i was reading this book and reading the decisions that they were making and it actually made me writhe up and cringe so hard i haven't even organized my thoughts that well because i'm still so angry about it the three women it's focused around one of whom was like an influencer who was just annoying but she was the least bad of the three another one of them was driven nuts essentially by her desperation to have kids so nuts that um she lied to her boss about having cancer so that he would impregnate her make of that what you will and she's not even the worst frankly all three of the characters are annoying the other main female character the one who essentially sets the whole plot of the book in motion is a mess she's 36 she's a single mother she goes on a date really likes this guy and doesn't have sex with him even though she really really wants to and then she gets on a train and gets filmed and then it goes public and she's known as the woman on the internet guys this book was so bad it was so bad i don't even care about spoiling this book for you because frankly this brief video is going to be all you need to know to put you off reading this the influencer woman at the end of the book is like so violently against being in a relationship and against having kids whatever that's fine i don't care about that but then buddy she suddenly decides that she actually has romantic feelings for um and she turns around on the top of her like flat stairs and falls down the stairs and breaks her neck so that was a bit sudden not that i really cared because i have absolutely no emotional connection to any of the characters which i think is such a fundamental thing about having about writing a book there have to be redeemable character traits in the protagonist otherwise you're not gonna f like them and like even in bad guys there's got to be like character traits that you admire or find funny or like but these characters weren't funny they weren't likable they were just f annoying or just stupid so she dies and she's like just made friends with Tara. She's just met a woman the night before and she's like, oh my god, we're meant to be best friends, which is just a whole nother show. Guys, it's just so bad. I can't even explain the plot to you because it was just terrible. But basically the girl falls down the stairs and dies. And it's like, maybe she had to die so I could find my date again. Guys, 
Guys, if there is one piece of advice I want you to take from my YouTube channel, it is not how to make the best chicken sandwich, even though I would like you to take that advice. It's not that I want you to play the episode series and value the minor characters above everyone else. It's not even that you should put barbecue sauce on everything, even though that is something that you should learn. The thing I want you to take away from all of the videos I've ever made is to never read this book. Unless you like having your soul crushed, then go ahead changed me as a human being, made me value people slightly less. Because if this is what people are actually like in the real world, as adults, proper grown adults and parents, I can't be doing with it. That is the end of this rant. Never read The Cows by Dorno Porter. Read something good. Read um, A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Read One Day by Dave Nichols. Read The Silent Treatment by Abby Greaves. Read The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Those are all really good books. If you want book recommendations, I will give you hundreds. <laughs> That's it. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications for more rants or advice or tips on sandwiches because that seems to be where this channel is headed. Um, and I hope you have a lovely day. Go and read some better books. Bye. Sorry, I've just had a couple of afterthoughts about the cows by Dorno Porter. I thought I should just chuck them in right here. I made notes after I'd finished it. I do this for every book, but I they were quite intense for this one. Almost feels like a teenager writing as an adult to an extent that the dialogue is fine, but the narration screams, I don't know what a human being would do here, so I'm going to do the wrong thing. The influencer character is called Cam. It's Cam, Stella and Tara. They seem to make every single wrong decision possible, which made me squirm with discomfort. Stella is a pathological liar and obsessed with becoming pregnant. Cam is fine, but a bit irritating. And Tara's life decisions made me want to repeatedly smash my head against a wall. That's pretty much everything. <laughs>